Hello, Kelly Storm Doll here, and today we're back with more glow up girls. Today we're over here with Rose, and over here we have Tiffany. Now I know their names because on the front, if you look at it on the little speech bubble, it says, Hello, my name is Tiffany, and over here this one says, Hello, I'm Rose. I did order these from Target.com. Now the reason I did order them is because I really am a fan of how their portions actually, and these are the other girls you can get, um, go with the Rainbow High Girls. Now soon I will be starting um, a new series, a new doll series, and their body proportions look really good. So I'm going to take these girls out of the packaging and I'm going to show them to you guys because even though I'm only using them for creative purposes, I figure why not get a cool review out of it as well. We'll be right back. All right, we are back and we have Rose and Tiffany out of their packaging. And you can see that Rose does come with the clear tub. It looks like they all come with the same tub, but hers come with purple and Tiffany's comes with pink. So now we're going to open up their boxes. The only things that we really didn't look at are these, which these blocks have makeup brushes inside, so we won't be doing that. And these, and these basically have the face mask inside that we're going to use to clean off their faces. So let's look over the dolls in their purses. So this is Rose's bag, and it looks like in her bag she came with some lip gloss. Alright, and here is Tiffany's bag. And it looks like Tiffany has a perfume bottle. All right, now looking at Rose, this is her with her mask on. And this is her once we take her mask off. So you can see she has a red lip with the bright green eyes and the pale makeup. You can kind of see the outline is lighter than the rest of her face. <clears throat> as far as articulation goes, she can move at the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist. Nothing in the midsection. She can move at the hips. And then they can move again at the feet. And Tiffany has the same articulation as well. As far as hair quality, it's very dry. And it also has some gel product on it. As far as her meat outfit, it's covered with leaves that kind of remind me of autumn. Or flowers that kind of remind me of autumn colors. Her outfit kind of reminds me of a picnic blanket. Alright, and here we have Tiffany. And this is her with her mask on. All right, and this is Tiffany as we take her mask off. You can see she has a, a softer, pouty type of lip. A little bit of orange and then a cute little um, pinkish lip tone. But her face is a little lighter than the rest of her body. So we know that's going to be removable. Her hair is kind of blonde, but it's kind of like a pink. Pink highlight to her hair as well. She has the same articulation. And as far as her meat outfit, it reminds me of Trouble in a Jungle. Like she likes to dream of safaris at night. Nice cotton material. So for anyone who wants these for their outfits. Because you know they are interchangeable with Rainbow High. This is a nice cotton material I think you'll like. Alright so now that we've met the girls. Let's put them in their. Well actually before we put them in their secondary looks. Let's clean their faces and see what that face is giving. Now the trick with these masks is, ugh, it's so disgusting, it is gross, but you get your human size one, and you have to open up your human size one, and right in the center, where the nose is, is the doll one. So we gotta, we gotta peel this out, oh god, oh my goodness, it feels like a sin. We have to peel this out, oh my gosh. And then we have to somehow rapture her face in it. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. 
Oh my god, if she doesn't look like a psycho killer. Wow. Okay, so now we have to do the same thing for um Miss Rose. Miss Rose is not getting off easy, child. This is disgusting. When I tell you this is not Hallmark Channel, this is Chiller. Yes, Chiller Network, honey. So now we have Miss Rose and um, her on it as well. So, you know, you can leave it on if you would like, or you can just go at it and start rubbing it off. So what I use is I use the small one and the big one because it's no way I'm using this on my face. The big one is for consumers, but I won't be, mm -mm, absolutely not. So I use the big one as like a backup, you know, kind of like a backup plan, if you will. So then we get her nice and clean off. <clears throat> this is what she looks like after. Ew. Ew. It just feels like a jellyfish, like a liquefy. <clears throat> Ew, it feels like jellyfish or something. Like something sinful. It look a mess and it feel a mess, honey. I enjoy the dolls, but I just don't enjoy... So you, this is after. So now that we've cleaned them up, now let's get these girls in their first outfit. In their outfits their secondary looks so the first one we're gonna look over is rose so rose I like that they paint their toenails rose comes with these purple sandals you can see I gave her a tattoo she comes with her jeans with her pink nails with her sweater her little purse she has her choker her earrings and if you notice their earrings go all the way through so she's very cute. That's why I said these make like perfect models for like the series I'm about to create. So here we are looking at Tiffany and Tiffany looks very pretty as well. Very earthy girls. Both of them very like earth themed. Um, you can see her floral earrings. She has on like a thick, I guess it's supposed to be like leather choker of some sort. I'm not, maybe it's not a choker. Maybe it's actually a bracelet. Okay. So I think I had that wrong. It's not a choker, that's actually a bracelet. But that I did give her a floral tattoo on her arm as well. You can see her top, her jeans, her white purse. Yes, this works better as a bracelet. And you can see her pants have stars and everything. And then she has on her white sneakers that also features stars. So yeah, it's weird. I have mixed feelings about these girls because it's like, I like them, then I don't like them. Like I like them, for dolls, I don't like them for their gimmicks, if that makes sense. Like, I like them as dolls, but I just don't like the gimmick that they carry with the face washing and, you know, everything like that. No, I'm not really sure about that. I just had an idea, and now I have to go get, like, a pen or something, but I want to give her a beauty mark. How do you guys think she'll look with a beauty mark? So what do you guys think? So now she has a little beauty mark there. And I didn't want to put it on the other side. Because you know everyone always puts a beauty mark on the other side. I think that looks good for her. I'm excited for this series. The dollhouse. It kind of came out of nowhere. So I'm very excited. But we're not done yet. It will be too easy to let you guys go right now. So I talked about it enough. I might as well put my mouth put my money where my mouth is you guys heard me mention earlier in a video that um these girls are compatible with rainbow idols well why don't we give these two girls some rainbow high looks we'll be right back all right so we are back and we have our ladies and a couple of mixed looks. Let's look at Rose first. Now, Rose is the intellectual. She still has her original sweater and her original jeans. I just really like that um, they make a high-waisted pants for the dolls. But she is wearing Sunny Madison's shoes from Ringo High. And she is wearing um, Cheryl's sweater because, you know, she loves the sweaters. And she has on her purple one with the daisies. She still has her earrings in. 
and I'm really loving this booty mark on her. I really think it sets her apart. You know, she looks really good. So, Tiffany, you guys know the names of these dolls. I kind of forgot the names of these ones, but basically she's wearing some of her outfit too. I did do a review on them, but I forgot the names. So basically, when you go down to Tiffany's shoes, she's wearing Bella's shoes. She's wearing a skirt from the doll I just showed you. And the anime top is also from the doll I showed you. You can see it has a cute little dog. It has a nice cute anime scene on it. She's wearing Bella's jacket. I just think her blonde hair kind of really complements that. And I decided to give her um, Rose's choker. Because I felt like that kind of, you know, kind of popped with her and the jacket and everything. She still has her earrings going. I love her hair color. So it's kind of like a mix of a couple of things. But yeah, basically these are my girls. So as a bonus, I'm going to um, throw in a little makeover of Kinsey as well. So let me show you her now. Now, this is how she's looking. This is her outfit from her review. So I'm about to give her a makeover as well because I think I'm going to incorporate her in the show as well. We'll see. We'll be right back. Rose, Kenzie, and Tiffany. And as you can see, I have um, Kenzie basically in Vanessa Tempo's outfit. I just like how glamorous they look in the rainbow high clothes. She does still have on her boots. I just figured it added, you know, a little bit of pop of color. You know, a little bit of pop of color. Ain't nothing wrong with a color campaign. Yes. So I definitely think she looks beautiful. Um, Overall, I am happy that I have these girls and I can't wait to start the series and let you guys check it out and see everything that's going on. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. But I'll see you guys on my next one. Let me know what you think about these dolls. Are you interested in them? The only thing I can say is I wish they had articulation in the knees and I wish their clothes quality was that of Rainbow High. I will be honest. I love how easily they do fit into Rainbow High, but I also wish that their clothes match the qualities of Rainbow High. But you guys let me know what you think of them and just know this. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!